Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I would like to introduce the concept of binary operations. What is binary operation? From the word binary, you hear by. By means two. So binary operations is a rule or a process that combine two elements, two elements by from a given set. So if you have a set, you pick two elements, you relate them with that operation to produce an entirely different element, but that element produced must be from that given set. Before we come back to this binary operation, because this is a general term, let us talk about the four basic operations we have in mathematics. We have the plus, we have the minus, we have the times and division. Let's talk about, should we use real numbers or Integers. Let's start with integers. Integers are numbers on the number line. One, two, three, and so on. If you come to the left, you have negative one, negative two, and negative three, and so on. Binary operation, I told you, is a rule that combines two elements from that set. So let's take two elements at random, four and two. Relate them with such operation. So in this case, I would like to use plus to produce an entirely different element from these two, which is going to give us six. And six is also a member here. Four is a member, two is a member, six is also a member. So any operation, so let me define this in general. And I would like to let you know that sometimes that operation may fail. <laughs> yeah. So if you take a binary operation, say this one, it must take an element from a given set S, link it or connect it with another entirely different element from that same set, and it must produce another element within the set. So if I take, for instance, A, B that belongs to the set S, I relate them A asterisk B, which is the operation I'm talking about here, the result must also be in that set. You see this condition? The two elements must be from the set. The result must also be within the set. Otherwise, the operation will fail. But well, let me show you an instance. But for, um, let me see. Let me show you that even this one can fail sometimes. What if you pick a number uh, one, for example, and you divide it by two. This is an integer, right? You can see that. This is also an integer. But what about the result? The result is 0 0.5, and 0 0.5 is not an integer. Therefore, division is not closed. We call it closure. Uh, closure, right? Is not closed under uh, integers. So the Binary operation, which is division, is not closed under the set of integers. That is what it means. So this is why I told you that not always. But for real numbers, all of these four basic operations will satisfy. So apart from these four basic operations, you may see other operations in the binary, like an angle, which is a triangle, a cycle. You may see an asterisk. We commonly use this asterisk. So whenever you are given this, either of these, they have to be defined. For example, we are coming to that. If you take a number, maybe A from the set S, and relate it with another element within the set. You know, we are not used to star. We are only used to plus minus division multiplication. So whenever you are given any other operation, it has to be defined. Let's define this as a, b minus uh, a times a plus, let me use a plus b. This is just my own definition. I just decided to define this as this. You see, we use some of the basic operations to define this. We use minus, we use multiplication, and we use addition in order to define this. So, if you have a set of integers, let's say a, is 2 and b is 3. It means that this is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 because this is multiplication. The minus 2 plus 3. 
2 plus 3 is 5, 2 times 3 is 6, so 6 minus 5 is 1. Alright, it means that 2 asterisk 3 will give you 1. 2 is an integer, uh, 3 is an integer, 1 is also an integer, uh, suppose S here is also a subset of integers, or oh, it is an integer, for example. You may even change it like this. If this is an integer, oh, this is an integer, this and this should also be integers. Something like this. Something like this. All right, so I repeat, binary operations is a rule that combine two elements from a given set, right? And produce an entirely different element that must be from that set. This is the definition. This is just an introductory class. In our next meeting, we are going to talk about the properties of binary operations. You have seen how we represent binary operations. I told you, you must always define them because you don't know what an asterisk means. They can say that wherever you see A asterisk B, it means what A divided by B. From the textbook or from the question, they will always define that operation for you. So in our next meeting, we are going to look on to the different uh, properties of um, binary operations. We have closure property, we have um, associativity, we have the commutativity, we have so many of them. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. Bye-bye.